If anybody's still eating, go ahead. Don't let me interrupt you. I appreciate very much having an opportunity to come down here and join you. Ate more than I usually eat for lunch. But uh, I'll try to make up for that days ahead. But listen, I just appreciate the chance to say thanks to all of you for how easy you all make it for us when we come here and how much we enjoy coming here. But the things that you do we look forward to that Christmas tree every year that we find all decorated in the house and other things of that kind. And, and uh, we're very grateful, believe me. But now, I have to tell you a little story that'll explain what I'm gonna say next. It was back in Caesar's time, and they turned the Christians loose into the Colosseum and then loosed the hungry lions on them, and the lions came roaring toward them and one man stepped out from the little huddle of people and said something quietly and the lions all laid down. 
Well, the crowd got mad. They weren't going to see any blood, and they were very upset, and Caesar was angry, and he had him bring the man that had talked up to him. And he said, what did you say to the lions that made him act like that? He said, I just told him that after they ate, there'd be speeches. <laughs> and, uh, well, there won't be any speech, but I just thought, I won't keep you long here, but maybe sometime or other, when you're doing some of those nice things for us, you said, I'd like sometime if I had a chance to ask him. Well, go ahead. If you've ever thought of any questions you'd like to ask, uh, whatever it's about, fire away, and maybe uh, I won't do a monologue here. We'll have a dialogue. Just sing out anyone that's got a question. Honest. <laughs> I'm not in uniform. <laughs> I'm just a civilian. <laughs> no. You haven't thought of anyone that wasn't? Mark? No, no. <laughs> well, well, I haven't got any speech to make or anything. Commander, you got a question? Who's my favorite actor? <laughs> well, uh, Years ago, from the standpoint of acting ability, my favorite actor was Spencer Tracy. I think he was one of the great actors of all time. Uh, from the standpoint of just admiring the guys, there are two of them that stand very high. And one of them is Jimmy Stewart, who's still around. And uh, the other one was Duke Wayne. I kind of liked uh, Duke's approach to life. And, uh, and he was just the way that you saw him on the screen. He was that way. He was a, he was a great guy. Jimmy Stewart, I, little story, when I was campaigning in 1980, Jimmy Stewart went out on the campaign trail with me. And he would introduce me at some of these fundraising banquets. But then he, in turn, of course, would first be introduced by the master of ceremonies, the local fella. And every time they'd introduce him as the great actor and everything that he was, and every time I would, when I, after Jimmy had introduced me, I would say to the man, if you don't mind, I would like these people to know also that in Hollywood we respect Jimmy. Stewart, because Jimmy Stewart is Major General Jimmy Stewart in the Air Force and was was uh, flying a B-17 in the in the bombing runs over Hamburg in World War II. Well, one night, I had the the MC did mention it and said Brigadier General Jimmy Stewart, and uh, I got up and said I like I'm sorry, but I have to correct you. It's Major General Jimmy Stewart. When we got back to the hotel that night, Jimmy said, uh, 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 Ron, uh, um, uh, that, that, that fellow w was right. It, it, it is Br Brigadier. He, he says, I, I just never cor corrected you before because it sounded so good. <laughs> Somebody else with a question now that we've broken the ice? I think we have one back here. Yes. <laughs> I thought it was great, and you had my very favorite food of all time, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> no, it was, it was great. Thank you. I'm, since I don't have as active a life anymore as these fellows do, though, I'm glad that I don't have an opportunity to get at that kind of, of food uh, every noon, sitting there at an office desk. Usually I make it a bowl of soup. Except for dessert, I'm a dessert man. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Last question for John, sir. Um, who are you picking for the NBA championship? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody here said the Celtics. <laughs> no, I'll tell you, I don't get enough time anymore to keep track of of what's going on uh, in the leagues and even then in in the uh, college and university ball. So uh, I just usually kind of have to wait until they find out uh, <laughs> what, what has happened instead of predicting. And besides, you know in the present job I've got, I'm not supposed to have any favorites. <laughs> Somebody else? Nothing about the budget or the <laughs> <laughs> well. 
president of the Dallas Theater. Back in 1964, I made myself when I graduated high school. I had the uh, pleasure of completing my diploma at Hinkley High School in Hinkley, California. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you're worried about being being a high school graduate in 1964, I graduated in 28. <laughs> Did you say I signed your? You handed it to me, sir. Oh, I. You were at the guest speaker. Oh, for heaven's sakes, yes. Now I do remember. Yes. Well, glad to be able to do it. I don't get to do things like that very much anymore. I think about the last time I got to hand them out was at Annapolis and then shook a thousand and fifty hands. <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah. Well, I won't keep you then. I know you've got things to do, and, and, uh, and I, I hope that you aren't sitting there with a question and just reluctant to ask it, because uh, I enjoy this very much. And you haven't asked a one about the, the job or what we're doing or anything of that kind. Well. Thank you all again for all that you do for us here, and we look forward to these next 20 months and hope we can get here more often than we have in the last several weeks. This has been a long stretch for us. When we don't get here very often, uh, we feel we're being put upon by the people down in Washington. So God bless you all. Thank you all.